we are always pushing scientific boundaries for new ways to heal our patients. We spent the 20th century searching the world for cures when the next great frontier was right here. UCSF's Living Therapeutics Initiative is deploying living cells from our own bodies and microbiome to fight disease and heal and regenerate tissues. Right now, scientists at UCSF can program immune cells to ramp up our body's fight against cancer. These cells, not unlike robots, can recognize, hunt, and kill disease cells and cancers that were lethal just a few years ago. But the promise of cell design extends far beyond cancer. Cells could be designed to halt the neurodegeneration seen in Parkinson's and dementia. They can be trained to recognize and protect insulin-producing cells in type 1 diabetes. Stem cells could be programmed to repair damaged heart and spinal tissue. They can prevent transplant rejection by turning down immune response. An example of living therapeutics power can be seen in designing cells to fight cancer. Here's how it works. T cells are the armed guards of our immune system. They jump into action when they detect invaders that make us sick. Meanwhile, cancer cells are masters of disguise and often escape notice. Scientists gather a patient's T cells, program them to make a receptor that recognizes certain molecules on the surface of the cancer cell. Then, they put them back into the patient. The engineered T cells dart directly to the disease cells to identify them. The first priority is ensuring no healthy cells are harmed. The T cells are designed to identify cancer cells with a two-step process. If the first receptor can't find a match, the cell goes unharmed. But when the first receptor does find a match, it triggers the creation of the second receptor that recognizes another molecule. If both receptors connect, it is a confirmed cancer cell, and the T cell will kill it. Meanwhile, the engineered T cells can also signal and engage other local immune cells in the fight to kill the disease cells. Healthy cells and tissues go untouched, a far cry from the scorched earth effects of chemotherapy and a safer and more effective cure for cancer. These techniques aren't just extending life. For many, these are full cures. Living therapeutics such as these will transform how we approach many of the world's most difficult diseases.